Guys, like, comment, subscribe, share the video, especially if you love college football as much as I do. This is my official Notre Dame and Ohio State football prediction. Last year, I picked Ohio State to blow out Notre Dame because they had a first-year coach who, you know, had been introduced to uh, being a head coach, not just a defensive coordinator. I will say I like what uh, Marcus Freeman has done as the head football coach for Notre Dame. Notre Dame has been very disciplined. Their defense is still very, very good, much like last year's despite losing pieces. Their offense is really good. Sam Hartman has been balling out of his mind. Their running game is really good. Ohio State, they look like they're getting, they're coming along on offense. I don't think it'll be enough. Uh, I have Notre Dame winning at home against Ohio State. It might get ugly. Um, here's my problem with Ohio State. They don't have C.J. Stroud anymore. And yes, Ohio State's offense has proven to be explosive against small schools. You know? So... I have, and the problem with uh, Ohio State, and I don't care how Ohio State fans feel about me saying this, I like Michigan. And this is what this was the problem in the Georgia game, letting them come back and beating y'all like they did. The line of scrimmage, that offensive line looked very suspect against uh, Indiana, and Indiana lost to Louisville since then. So nothing against Louisville, but Louisville's not Ohio State. You know what I mean? They could be good one day, though. Who knows? They're undefeated too. Shout out to Louisville, I guess. Um. I got Notre Dame winning. I think they're going to win the game. I think they win the line of scrimmage on both sides of the ball. I think here's the thing, and I get Ohio State's defense has improved. I don't think it'll be enough for four quarters to slow down Sam Hartman's passing game and the running game that Notre Dame already has. So that's going to be really hard to deal with, and it's very hard to beat Notre Dame as a top five team. Ohio State's clearly a top five quality team, let's be honest. At worst, top five. Going into South Bend. Last time a top five team went to South Bend, they lost. You can ask Clemson. Now, I know Ohio State talent-wise is better than Clemson, but your lines of scrimmage are not very good. So I have to go with Notre Dame. I think they're going to punch them in the mouth throughout the game. I think they control the line of scrimmage. I think they win a turnover battle. I actually think they'll keep um, the quarterback for Ohio State on his back foot most of that game. I don't think Ohio State's younger offensive line, they had to replace a few linemen for the draft this past year. I don't think they can hold up against Notre Dame's pass rush, the linebacker attack. Uh, Notre Dame has just been playing really good. Am I saying Notre Dame's the best team of the country or anything like that? No. If, no, if Ohio State wins this game, which they can, I wouldn't be too surprised. They're supposed to win this game anyway. They usually beat Notre Dame, right? But I just here's the thing. Sam Harmon's a good quarterback, and Notre Dame has good athletes around him, so that will elevate him and make him play better. And Notre Dame's already a good running team, and Notre Dame always has a good defense. So with that being said, I think Marcus Freeman learned from last year. I think dealing with losing to Stanford and Marshall at home was embarrassing for him. He's already lost to Ohio State once, so he don't want to lose to him again. I got Notre Dame winning this game. Uh, I think they win this game 35-21, a very close game. But I think they'll pull away late, and I think Ohio State just won't be able to make the plays that they need to make at the end.